Hello, I'm Joshua from Authentic Aquatics, and as always, wishing you and your aquariums the best. I'm sitting here with my 20 gallon Nano Reef, which is reaching full maturity, and I will have corals in a month or two. It's been running quite a while now, and it has not seen any water fluctuations or parameter problems, which I'm happy to say. I do want to talk about two inhabitants which I have in the tank right now, and they create a symbiotic relationship, which means that each uh, benefits from the other's company and you're not going to see them swimming around so if you want a fish that's swimming around I won't add these in but they are very hard workers and enjoyable to watch because they're really cool what they are is the shrimp goby and the pistol shrimp before anyone gets excited and wants to add one into their tank straight away let's talk about the requirements you need at least a 10 gallon tank which is great even for nano reefs 10 gallons isn't much at all but what they need is a deep sand bed. This isn't actually deep. This is pretty good for them as long as they have some sort of rock or something to slide under. They need a decent sized sand bed and the sand in this tank gets deeper in the back and that's where they've decided to dig. And it can be sand or crushed coral, doesn't matter. They do well in both. And if you have a bare bottom tank, I wouldn't add them because they just wouldn't feel comfort. And basically what they're doing is they're gonna aerate your sand bed, which is the benefit of having both of them in there. They're really cool to watch, and the reason that gobies and pistol shrimp have decided to work together is because the pistol shrimp is almost blind, and it's really good at digging. So the goby decides it'll stand guard and watch out for danger if the pistol shrimp digs its burrow and lets it live with it. And so this is this is a uh, instinct that all of them have is to automatically pair up. So it's really easy to get a goby and a pistol shrimp together. Mine, while I was acclimating them, they had never seen each other before, but I acclimated them to the same tank water, and then I threw them in a bowl together, not that you need to, just to see what they'd do. And immediately after adding them in, I noticed that they decided to pair right up. They were literally right next to each other in the bowl. So that's how easy they pair up. They don't care, as long as they know that it's a goby and a pistol shrimp, they are ready to work together. And so in the aquarium you can do many different types of gobies and many different types of pistol shrimps and you can just put them right together and they do really well. When I said that you could put many different pistol shrimp and many different types of gobies together, I didn't mean all in one aquarium. I mean that you can mix and match different species of pistol shrimp and goby, like you might be able to do a Randall's goby and then put in a tiger pistol shrimp. You can do something like that. You can mix and match what they're not really accustomed to and they probably will accept it but if you put more than one goby and uh, shrimp pair in your tank there's a possibility that those two pairs will actually fight with one another over areas to dig it's best to add in a shrimp and goby pair instead of just individuals because the uh, goby will not actually work if it doesn't have a pistol shrimp it's still not going to work what it's going to do is it'll kind of perch and wait for food and that'll be about its life. It's not going to do, it's not going to be too active. And really, to have both of them together, they're going to be less stressed because they'll feel like it's a more natural environment. Goby and pistols are actually really easy to feed. As you can see, the yellow watchman I'm feeding here and my tiger pistol shrimp, they're pretty ready to just accept pellet food. They'll also take flake food. I like to feed a little bit of frozen shrimp, uh, anything like that. They are a little bit carnivorous in, in nature. They will be looking for a tiny shrimp, something like that. So before you start adding a bunch of uh, ornamental shrimp into your tank, make sure that they're size appropriate or else there could be some problems. In the hobby, uh, pistol shrimp have really earned a horrible reputation as being fish killers, which I find really hard to believe because they're very peaceful. But the reason that they are called pistol shrimp is because they actually snap their claw and at a distance they can hit something and there's a YouTube video that goes around and it shows a larger variety of pistol shrimp that lives in the ocean I don't believe that it's a variety that is kept in aquariums but it could be but it snaps at a distance and actually stuns a scarlet skunk cleaner shrimp and then proceeds to eat it well, in the aquarium, I've never seen a pistol shrimp actually hurt something by snapping at it. I have a Nasaria snail that all the time goes down in there, floods the hole with sand, and he gets snapped at repeatedly. He falls in that hole almost daily, gets snapped at again and again. He never shows any problem at being snapped at. He's actually been grabbed on the flesh, and he hasn't shown a mark. It's as if it's almost a harmless, uh, harmless grab. 
and the pistol shrimp will carry him away from the burrow and throw him down because he doesn't want him coming back. But the Nasaris always finds the way back. And the the thing that really bothers me is that since the Nasaris always finds its way back, it's obviously not afraid to be snapped at again. Leading me to believe that the pistol shrimp is mostly harmless, but there is a possibility that it could kill small shrimp inside the aquarium, thinking that it's a food item that it would see in nature. In conclusion, pistol shrimp and goby pairs do great even in 10 gallon aquariums, making them excellent nano reef inhabitants. A tank with substrate is preferable so they can dig and make burrows. As far as tank mates go, pistol shrimp and goby pairs do pretty well with almost anything, except another pistol shrimp and goby pair, or something they might consider a food item, such as a small shrimp. Thank you for watching, and expect a nano reef guide coming out later this year. I'm Joshua from Authentic Aquatics, and as always, wishing you and your aquariums the best.